So, guys, after Manchester United's defeat to Fulham, Saeed and Mark Goldberg are having a little bit of going back and forth at the moment. Saeed thinks that Mark Goldberg shot some indirect shots at him on Twitter. So, Saeed responded in a video. We're going to play that clip in a moment. Before we get into it, make sure you have smash like button, comment, and subscribe. Mark Goldberg basically saying T Ten Hag Outers will be celebrating that loss. And basically, they can fuck off because they're not true fans of the club. I want you guys to let me know down below what you guys think. And let's get right into it. So, guys, this is the tweet in question right here that Mark Goldberg has come out and said on his personal Twitter account. He didn't say this on the United Stand. He said it on his Mark Goldberg account. Ten Hag Outers will be celebrating that. Wish they fuck off. No fans of this club at all. So, basically, when he's saying this, the Ten Hag Outers will be celebrating that. Um, he, he Basically, the things that come up in my head are what I'm thinking and what Saeed obviously thinks as well because he made a, uh, he made a mention about it in his stream earlier, which we will roll the clip in a second. Basically saying that... Ten Hag Outers will be celebrating that. Wish they F off no fans of this club at all. So basically, he's taking little indirect shots. He's not really adding people's names, but he's basically talking about these guys. Because you know who he's talking about. He's talking about Rance, Saeed, anybody who's not pepper positive. Oh, Ten Hag in, back the manager all the way till he falls and all this stuff. Just super, super Ten Hag in. And yeah, a lot of people clap back at him in the comments saying, maybe if you stop protecting him to get interviews through his agent with Anthony and Hoyland, you give an honest opinion. Is the gaffer going to take any blame for any of these problems? What about when you wanted other managers out? Not fair to bash fans. Oh, come on, Mark. You can't say he doesn't deserve to be gone. Why should I support failure? You're not, you're, you're not just as good as you think you are. We deserve to lose. Ball fraud isn't getting away with it today. But yeah, yeah, so people are getting on him a little bit, man, because Mark Goldberg came on and said this, and then you see it got 2.1 thousand responses. So, oh, people are getting on his head at the moment. So, before we get into that, let's roll the Saeed clip. I just want to mention uh, something, and probably the last time I hopefully mentioned uh, this, this clown, yeah? Because that's what he is, he's a clown. You know what I'm saying to you? Goldfish, do not indirect me ever again yeah don't mention me don't talk about me keep your name out of your fucking mouth do you hear me you coming out today yeah tweeting yeah ten hog outers will be celebrating that wish they'd fuck off no fans of this football club at all this is your words yeah first of all yeah who are you to talk like this i don't think you've ever stepped foot in old trafford I don't even know what you, I think you look like the football club looks like. I don't think you've even seen the football pitch. I don't think you've ever stepped near Old Trafford. But you calling me a fake fan is absolutely ludicrous. You don't speak for anyone. Just because you've got the biggest fan channel in the world, mate, we couldn't care less, mate. Leave us to it. Let us have our own opinion. And you fuck off with your own channel and do you, yeah? Are you hearing that? Seriously. I speak for myself. Do you fucking hear that? I speak for me. You speak for whatever you want to speak. I ain't held by no media company. I don't work for the football club like you do. Because that's what you do, right? You work for the football club. I work for myself. Don't mention my name. Don't talk about me. And let's keep it as that. How many times have I got to mention this? I'm not, irre I'm not irrelevant to you. So leave me alone. Yeah? Simple as that. That's what I want to mention, because this spreader here keeps talking the most about how we should and shouldn't talk about our football club. I'll speak about it the way I want to speak about it, and you speak about it when you want to speak about it. It's as simple as that. So keep my name out of your mouth. Are you hearing that? You are a grown man. You are a grown man. you got kids, my brother. Keep it a book, yeah? Man's me, you are you. Now, after hearing that clip, I didn't know this, right? It was kind of like my, ah, gotcha moment. I didn't know Mark Goldbridge worked for Man United. I didn't know that. I knew he worked for Talk Sport. I knew he was around the club a little bit. I didn't know he worked inside. I didn't know he worked for Man United. Because I was wondering, how did he get those interviews with Hoyland, Anthony? I think he got an interview with Anthony, Hoyland. I don't how did he get those interviews? Because I wondered that. How did he get that interview without knowing somebody? And it, and it hit me. It's like, because Saeed just said he... he works for Man United. That makes so much sense now. That makes sense. So he's on the inside working for Man United. He works for Talk Sport. He works for all these um different companies and stuff. So oh yeah, man. He 
he's definitely talking about a pool of YouTubers. He's not adding no names, but but he knows who he's talking about. Mark Goldbridge deep down, he knows, he knows. But see, he doesn't have the the cojones to actually at these people and say who he's talking about. No, it's just like I'm gonna leave it up in the air, and that's why he got like two point one thousand comments responding to that. So. But yeah, ab absolutely crazy, man. Yeah, yeah, he's, oh yeah. He tweeted that out, and people were getting on his head, man. And honestly, rightfully so. Who are you to tell people what they should and shouldn't say? You you don't run anything, dog. Didn't Marcus Rashford just call out the United Stand before about this? Now you got Saeed calling it out now. And he used to work for the United Stand, Saeed, as well. So you had Rashford call out the United Stand because they were talking crazy about him. Now you got Saeed calling them out now. And more people are going to end up calling them out. More players, too, because, I mean, some of these opinions that they're saying, Mark Goldbridge cannot tell another fan what to say. And he says that on his channel as well. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So for him to say that Eric Ten Hag Alders, these fans should F off and stuff, doesn't that go against what you say, Mark Goldbridge? Doesn't that contradict you? Because you say that everybody should have an opinion, everybody should, you know, have their own opinions and stuff, but yet, you say that Eric Ten Hag Alder should fuck off from the football club. So that contradicts what you say. I want you guys to let me know what you think, because I think it's very contra contradictory. It it's very contradicting. It's crazy. So, but yeah, man, honestly, this is nothing new under the sun. Saeed called out Mark Goldbridge, and yeah, they had a little bit of back and forth. Will this be the last time somebody talks about it? Probably not. Goldbridge might come out and make a little statement and clap back. Or not, because he did make a statement about Marcus Rashford when he came out. Um, and Marcus Rashford tweeted about him as well before saying stuff. Because um, he said, stop spreading malicious rumors. And see, they took that because, see, Saeed did say malicious rumors, anything like that. But see, Rashford said malicious rumors. So they kind of took that and ran. They're like, oh, so we can't work now? We can't do our job? You they they try to twist it. They try to do stuff to get themselves out of these situations, and it's not working. But yeah, yeah, you know exactly who Mark Goldbridge is talking about, man. Let, let's let's keep it a buck fifty, man. Y'all know, I know, you know the few the YouTubers he's talking about, the Ten Hog Outer YouTubers. You guys know, y'all are in the circle. Y'all know. So yeah, smash like button, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this little back and forth going down below. And yeah, man, just after one loss, and look how it's just come crashing down. At Man United, people are furious, pissed off. And honestly, man, it's just the same old stuff. It's hard to get mad at something you expect. I expected nonsense. When they added on nine minutes of added time in that game, I'm like, yeah, somebody's going to win this, bro. Because it's nine minutes is a long time in real life. You know, so yeah. It's been my time with you guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out, guys. Peace out.